The Worshipful Company of Fishmongers or Fishmongers Company is one of the 110 livery companies of the City of London, being an incorporated guild of sellers of fish and seafood in the city. The company ranks fourth in the order of precedence of city livery companies, thereby making it one of the great 12 city livery companies. Topic: History The company records an unbroken existence for over 700 years, although undoubtedly it existed earlier, having received its first royal charter in 1272. A predecessor guild was fined as adulterine in 1154. It took the name Stock Fishmongers Company under another royal charter granted in 1508. Then, in 1537, it merged with the Salt Fishmongers Company to form the company with its present name. The most famous city fishmonger is Sir William Walworth, who, as Lord Mayor of London in 1381, helped bring the Peasants' Revolt to an end by stabbing the rebel Wart Tyler to death at Smithfield in the presence of King Richard II. In 1383, Lord Mayor John Combatton de Northampton a draper, persuaded the City Common Council to declare that the fishmongers should no no longer have the power to monopolize trade in fish, and this was reaffirmed by Parliament. However, in a royal charter granted to the fishmongers by Richard II in 1399, all their privileges were restored. The same charter states they should elect six wardens annually, the number which continues to the present day. Until the end of the 14th century the fishmongers convened their own court of law, called Leharmode, at which disputes over fish and seafood trade were tried by the wardens of the company. From 1555 to the present day, the company has acted as trustee of Gresham's School at Holt, Norfolk. In the early 17th century, the company was granted lands at Ballykelly and Banagher in modern-day Northern Ireland, by the Crown. It remained a major landowner there until the 20th century, and the villages contain some of the most interesting buildings erected in Ulster by the plantation companies. In 1714, the Irish actor Thomas Doggett provided money to endow a boat race called Doggett's Coat and Badge Race in honour of the new king, George I of Hanover. The race was originally to be rowed annually on 1 August on the River Thames, by up to six young watermen per boat who were not to be out of their apprenticeship by more than 12 months. The prize for the champion oarsman is a fine red coat embellished with a large silver badge on one arm, depicting the white horse of Hanover with the word Liberty underneath. Since Doggett's death, the Fishmongers Company continues to organize this event each year, and it is now believed to be the world's longest continuously running sporting event as well as being the longest boat race in the world 4 miles, 5 furlongs meters. .By the 18th century, references to fish were hard to find in the Fishmongers Company court minutes, since the company's main business had evolved into managing its extensive properties and administering its charities and trusts such as Gresham's School as well as St. Peter's Hospital and Almshouses at Newington in Surrey. <laughs> Functions The company is governed by its Prime Warden, five other wardens and its Court of Assistants, comprising 28 appointed livery members. In its early history, the company established a monopoly over the sale of fish in the City of London and its environs. Although government legislation over the years has reduced such trade restrictions, the company is still tasked with the important role of overseeing the quality of fish imported into the city, mostly via Billingsgate Market, the UK's largest fish market. This responsibility is undertaken by the company's fishmeters inspectors under powers established by a royal charter of James I in 1604. The company is closely involved with monitoring salmon and freshwater fishing as well as the catching of shellfish throughout UK waters. It encourages research through grants and sponsorship and also publishes books on fish, such as Fish and Shellfish and the Fishmongers Company Cookbook. 
Thus, the company retains many of its ancient trade duties, unlike some other livery companies, whose trades having become defunct through technological advances, act for the most part as charitable benefactors or ceremonial institutions. The Fishmongers Company is also a significant educational charity. As well as Gresham's School, it has also long supported the City and Guilds of London Art School and the City and Guilds of London Institute. The company comprises about 300 members, including a good representation of working fishmongers. Liverymen of all city companies are members of Common Hall which entitles them to vote each year in the election of the Lord Mayor of the City of London, held on Michaelmas Day the 29th of September, or the closest weekday, and also in the election of the Sheriffs of London on Midsummer's Day. Voting is by show of hands, but should one liveryman call for a recount, a ballot is held two weeks later. Topic Hall The company's livery hall in the City of London is known as Fishmongers Hall sometimes shortened in common parlance to Fish Hall. Its earliest recorded hall was built in 1310. A new hall, on the present site, was bequeathed to the company in 1434. Together with 43 other livery halls, this one was destroyed in the Great Fire of London in 1666 and a replacement hall designed by the architect Edward German opened in 1671. This hall by German was demolished to facilitate the construction of the new London Bridge in 1827. The Fishmonger's next hall was designed by Henry Roberts, although his assistant, later the celebrated Sir Gilbert Scott, made the drawings and built by William Cubitt and Company, opening in 1834. After severe bomb damage during the Blitz, Fishmonger's Hall was restored by Austin Hall of Winnie, Son and Austin Hall and reopened in 1951. Topic Gresham's School Since 1555, the company has acted as the trustee of Gresham's School in Holt, Norfolk, in accordance with the wishes of Lord Mayor Sir John Gresham 1492 among other responsibilities, the company provides more than half of the school's governors, including the chairman of the governing body, which meets at Fishmongers Hall. In 1729, the Fishmongers Company presented the school with a valuable and useful library, not only of the best editions of the classics and lexicographers, but also with some books of antiquities, chronology, and geography, together with a suitable pair of globes. In May 1926, in accepting membership of the company by right of patrimony, the future King George VI said, I hope that it may be possible for me, at some future date, to prove my interest by personally visiting Gresham's School, of which I have frequently heard such excellent accounts. <laughs> List of Prime Wardens C. 1370, Sir William Walworth 1664, Abraham Johnson 1676, William Allington 1721 to 22, Sir John Fryer 1810 to 12, Richard Conversation Sharp MP 1834 to 36, Sir Matthew Wood 1863 to 64, William Cubitt et al George Cubitt, 1st Baron Ashcombe 1874–75, William Lawrence 1880–81, Jethro Hornblower 1883–84, Thomas Dakin, Lord Mayor 1887–88, Sir Andrew Lusk 1888–89, James Clark Lawrence 1893–94, John Warren 1899–1900, Richard Bidolph Martin 1901–02, George Frederick Bodley 1902, Edward Rawlings 1961–62, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh 
1969–70, Sir John Carew Pohl 1972–73, David Cairns, 5th Earl Cairns 1977–78, Kenneth Mackay, 3rd Earl of Inchcape 1989–90, Robert Kindersley, 3rd Baron Kindersley 1995–96, Alexander MacDonnell, 9th Earl of Antrim 1998–99, Simon Lennox Boyd, 2nd Viscount Boyd of Merton 2001, Merlin Hay, 24th Earl of Errol 2001–02, Sir Thomas Stockdale 2014–15, James Ford FCA 2017–18, Princess Anne, the Princess Royal Topic: Liverymen of the Company. King George V. King George VI. Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Alexander Macdonnell, 9th Earl of Antrim. Sir William Ascham, Lord Mayor. Eric Lubbock, 4th Baron Avebury. The Honourable Sir Mark Lennox Boyd. John Natchbull, 7th Baron Brayburn David Cairns, 5th Earl Cairns Ralph Stoner, 7th Baron Camoys Sir Richard Carew Pohl Hugh Cavendish, Baron Cavendish of Furness George Villiers, 7th Earl of Clarendon Edward Cavendish, 10th Duke of Devonshire Sir Gervais Tennyson Danecourt Thomas Doggett Anthony Duckworth Chad Merlin Hay, 24th Earl of Errol Sir Lionel Fraser Peter Mackay, 4th Earl of Inchcape George Petty Fitzmaurice, 8th Marquess of Lansdowne Sir John Lemon, Lord Mayor Sir John Lovekin, Lord Mayor Edward Fitzalan Howard, 18th Duke of Norfolk Cranley Onslow, Baron Onslow of Woking Sir John Peach MP Sir Isaac Pennington, Lord Mayor Baroness Perry of Southwark Francis Fillimore, 5th Baron Fillimore Sir John Rainwell, Lord Mayor Guy Innes Kerr, 10th Duke of Roxburgh Richard Sharp FRS Ben Travers CBE Sir William Walworth, Lord Mayor Field Marshal Sir Evelyn Wood Alan Yarrow, Lord Mayor 2014 <laughs> Arms The arms of the company are blazoned Shield, azure three dolphins nine embowed in pale argent finned toothed and crowned or between two pairs of stockfish in saltire argent over the mouth of each fish a crown or on a chief gules three pairs of keys of St. Peter in saltire Crest, upon a helm on a wreath argent and sable, two cubit arms the dexter vested or cuffed azure the sinister vested azure cuffed or the hands argent holding an imperial crown proper Supporters, on the dexter side a merman armed and holding in his right hand a falchion and with his left sustaining the helm and tambour, and on the sinister side a mermaid holding in her left hand a mirror and supporting the arms with her right hand, all proper. Motto, Al worship be to God alone thus spelt, and shared with the company's Gresham school. Note, in heraldry, nine means swimming to the viewer's left, while embowed means curved like a bow. For the meanings of argent, azure, or proper and sable, see tinctures. Topic. See also. Fishmonger. Shellfish Association of Great Britain. Gresham College. Livery Company. Topic Sources Topic External Links 
official website Fishmongers Hall and Fish Street Hill at www.british-history.ac.uk Gresham School official site